Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to do an engine swap on my 1970s Goodbrod garden tractor. I did get the original engine running, but it was smoking horribly and drawing oil out of the exhaust. I did want a more modern engine and a bit more power. So, what options do we have? Well, the first idea was to put a small car engine in it, such as this Fiat 903cc. My dad has several of these lying around, but he won't donate one to my project. And they are all boat anchors anyway. <coughs> Next on my list would be a diesel, but second hand they are still quite expensive, and you never know what you're going to get. Plus it would require a lot of work to fit it into this small frame. <coughs> A new air-cooled single-cylinder diesel would be a nice fit, but they are even more expensive. Finally, I found a two-cylinder air-cooled petrol engine. With an affordable price and similar dimensions as the old engine, this seems a good fit. It's widely available and it's used in generators, pumps, go-karts and all other sorts of projects. Time to start tearing into this. First off, I removed the old engine. I had them sit sitting next to each other on the workbench so I could take my measurements and build an adapter plate. I found some scrap steel laying around and started to make an adapter plate on the lathe. This took me quite a while to make. I also place a bearing in the adapter plate. I don't think these small engines really have a truss bearing on the crankshaft. Next up is modifying the flywheel from the old engine to adapt the clutch assembly. The old motor had a conical shaft, but the new motor has a 25mm straight shaft. My first idea was to weld in a bushing, but I couldn't get it secured on the crank. So I found a better option, welded in a taper lock, and this works perfectly. The flywheel had a really bad casting, so I turned it down to where it was nice and even. Afterwards I balanced it in the lathe with two rotating centers. Seems good for at least 7000 rpm I think. The old clutch disc had to be replaced. Because well, let's say there wasn't much left of it. I found out that the 16 horsepower classic Fiat 500 also had a 140mm clutch disc and it was only 35 euros. Unfortunately the centers aren't the same and I had to swap these over. Well, with a little bit of modification that is. When all was done, it was time to fit the engine in the frame. The new engine being wider and a bit longer was not going to fit, so I made the decision to cut the frame and stretch it 150mm, because why not at this point? Also, the exhaust was interfering with the fuel tank, so I had to make it a side exit. 
like on the old vineyard tractor. I think it turned out rather nice. After all of this, I could finally put it to work and till some gardens. It works beautifully, but it's missing something. Stay tuned for a future video where I finish building the hydraulics and ancillaries. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments below and leave a like or subscribe if you want to see us doing more of this project. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye!